squad as always, this is Josh's Man 115, and this is another Let's Play Minecraft video. Yeah, I'm actually being the cat because I think I need to uh, fix the uh, motion glitch in this. Anywho, if we last remember, I have 15 pieces of wool, and we're going to wool. And I decided something about these videos. I, I tend to kind of rant a lot in these videos and get a little bit serious. So as long as I'm not with really anybody and playing with them, I figured, you know, I do that in these adventures. Unless I'm playing with somebody, so, uh... Today, while well, I'm still on the wool hunt here, for... Down here, if I don't run into a skeleton or something, I need to put torches up around here. So that they don't spawn. I'm going to go around, uh, while well, I'm collecting wool. I'm going to, uh, kind of rant about something a little bit. Maybe it might get me viewers. <laughs> Maybe not, I don't know. Um, but anywho, the, I think the thing that I'm going to rant about is probably relationships. And as you all know, I said this before, I have not been in a relationship for almost five years now, prior to, uh, February 17th, because I did not want to spend that damn day alone, and the girl I was with was just, uh, horrible. And, uh, even when you're in a horrible relationship, you don't want to spend the damn day alone, even if they're cheating on your ass, like, later on that night or something. But, when you don't see them anymore, that night. But, the thing is, I haven't been in a relationship for five years prior to February, when 2014 rolls around and it is February, you guys should just fly up there, <laughs> uh, 17th. That will mark the anniversary of how long I have not been in a relationship. And the whole reason I haven't been in a relationship is because I have not really tried to. Three years of three years of it, I tried to find. Like I said, I tried to, to find out, find myself, who, find who I was, and try to figure out why it is girls think they should. Because let's face it, there's gonna be guys and girls out there. They're like me. To try to do their best, try to be the best person they possibly can to other people, and be the best boyfriend slash girlfriend they possibly can to someone else, and they keep meeting up with people that treat them like utter crap for no reason, because they think that's the way they're going to get through in life, is to just treat everyone like crap to get whatever the hell they want, when really, you've been taught you'll catch more flies with honey than you would with vinegar, but they don't care. And, uh, I need more food, so I need to, uh, damn it. To kind of hunt those guys down, uh, hunt some animals down while I'm at it, too. Um, I don't know, they feel like they, that, that's what they need to do is to, uh, is he all sloppy that's moving? I don't really like how it's moving. I need to fix this notch. Uh, Mojang, you guys need to fix this uh, little glitch that came with your last texture pack. Because it wouldn't come with the other texture packs, it came in the last one. And it's just, it's making everything move all weird. Anywho, by myself. Like I said, I will eventually post those episodes. Jason, it's no hard feelings. Um, you just don't talk a lot, especially when people are trying to talk to you. But you need to. Like, I know when we're like gaming, we, we talk up enough and you get in those, but like, I figured it'd be the same way for this, but you just weren't talking a whole lot. I don't know what's so different about when we're all together and we're all talking and we'll say something. But when it's like just two of us and you won't say anything so much. Anywho, um, yeah, relationships. It, I don't know, it comes down to a matter of trial and error, you know, who's who are you going to appropriately spend your time with? Who are you uh, not going to appropriately spend your time with? Get this iron, which opened up into a cave. See, I don't like... It's making me feel the way this is moving. It's making me feel all weird. I need to find some coal though, soon. So I make some torches as I ran out of torches about a couple videos ago. And I haven't been back in here until today. It's swamp with school, I'm still going to be swamped with school, so a lot of these episodes that I'm, that I've 
uh, recorded of other games are being pre-recorded, so, uh, before I upload them. And, you know, when the internet finally, certain people aren't living here anymore, and the internet finally gets to a point where I can do this, like, more for, oh, there's a sheep. Where'd that other sheep go? I know I saw a, another, there it is. Sort of sheep. Sort of sheep's when they give you three wool when you share them. Oh, and I'm growing his wool back. Another sort of sheep. Anywho, and it really should, it does come down to a whole point of trial and error, and like, there's, it's the. Oh, I wrote a paper on this, and I defined it as two as a definition paper. And I defined it as two different things that you either get the you're, you're lucky, and you get the 50-50 relationship that this actually is defined. But other than that, you don't. You get the other thing, the one where it's like it's it seems like it's a bad marriage, and. I think it does, like, give most people, like, is this, is this what's going to be like with, if I get married to this person or, or what, whatnot? You know, is it going to be this bad all the time? Did another pumpkins over here. At least I found some. Found some more. Um, you get that sense of, is this, is this what it be like if I start living with this person and start and eventually get married to this person if it happens because to be honest like you don't want to come off you really don't want to be desperate in a relationship but yet you get put in those dress measures if you start to fall for this person you think you know maybe I can convince them to change the way they act towards me and towards others and the things they do like if they're doing drugs it's, like, it's really hard to get somebody to come down off of drugs especially if they've been doing it for like so so long I mean, family members one thing, but when, when someone you're attracted to and you find out oh, they're doing this, they start doing drugs, and they're doing it for a very long time, especially behind your back and you didn't know, it's like, sometime later on in your guys' relationship, it's very hard to get somebody to come down off of something like that. And uh, that's what my last relationship was. She was doing drugs a lot, and I was trying to get her to, since we stopped telling her, you know, Hey, it isn't just something someone says, or it's just shit you just see on TV, you know, people do ruin their whole fucking lives, and the way they look, and other things about themselves, and that's another thing they need to fix about this damn freaking glitch, when you're traveling into caves and stuff, even if they're not all the way lit up, I don't like the way that travels, even, that hurts my fucking eyes, yeah, I don't like that noise. Hopefully nothing spawns in here while I'm trying to get this. I need the coal to make torches to light this up so it's not like all that. You guys saw that blurriness. That hurt the living hell out of my eyes. They need to fix that glitch too. Um, but yeah, the whole point is you're trying to be the best person that you can be to Oh, to the said person, and they just don't care about your well-being or anyone else's well-being, but their own. Especially if they're on drugs, they're only—they're really not going to care about your well-being, especially their own. Uh, and they're going to think about their own. You really—they're not really thinking about their own. They're doing the drugs. They're just—they're damaging themselves while they're doing these drugs. While they're doing drugs, so and dr drugs aren't a good thing. All right, there's. So, I mean, medical drugs are, but don't like keep taking them. You can get addicted to those painkillers and stuff like that. Um, and there are the medical drugs where you have to take every day of your life. They're prescribed to you, where it's like you have to take these once a day, or else, you know. Um, there's a sheep down there. There's a creeper too. Actually, mainly want. Where's it sheep? Mainly want 
the shoes. See there, losers. Okay, got some more wool. But yeah, you just it, like I said, it, it's trial. It's a trial and error thing. And when people, get, when it gets to a point in a relationship where it's like you can't fix it, period. No matter what you do, this person's just so stubborn. Doesn't want to change who they are. Doesn't want to treat you better. Doesn't want to do the same for you that you would do for them. It gets to a point where it's like, you know what, screw this. All you're going to do is just take take from me, and I don't want to be in a relationship where it's just that, where you're just going to take from me. Did I kill it? Sweet, kill it. And that's how it's been for the last couple of hours, which it's where it's that and the whole saying I love you like real freaking early you don't it comes off very desperate and that scares guys and girls like me and that that's been done to me and I had to like because I was told never say that too early and when you feel it you know uh, when you feel it you're gonna say it all right and when I have in other race past relationships where I felt it and I have said it the ones that have uh, gone to that point in psyche yeah, I feel it. I feel it now. I'm gonna go ahead and just, just come out and say it. So I'll tell this girl I love her, and uh, see what happens. And if she feels the same way, she'll say it back. And it has happened that they have said it back. You don't have it feel like that. The only reason those relationships didn't last was because they all moved because their families were moving, and they had to go with them. And it was understandable. It's like you you need to go. You need to be your family. I mean. I, I really love, uh, I really did fall for you a lot, but you know, there might be somebody a lot better than me out there you know, that's gonna fall for you too, and you're gonna fall for them, and it should be the same way for me. But it wasn't the same way for me. I ended up uh, meeting wrong girl. I'm trying to fix this to make it look a little better. Wrong girl after wrong girl, because. Uh, like I said, some people just do not want to do the same, and you're gonna end up finding a whole lot of that uh, genre of people not wanting to do the same like you. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go back to bed. I think I'm in the wrong jungle biome. See, it's raining. Okay, we'll go to bed. Go sleep here. Yeah, but anywho, you're gonna want to not. You're gonna find people like that a lot in this world that just don't want to do the same for you, because they feel you should be putting all the work in the relationship, and not them. And it's it's messed up. You want to you want to want them to put as much work in the relationship as you're putting into it, which is a 50-50 thing. Which is the one I want to talk about. You're always out there searching for that one that's going to be like that. That relationship is going to be like that. But the problem is, like so many of us, we either give up because of that, and we either just not get into a relationship at all. Because that's the point where I'm getting to. I'm getting to that point where I'm just going to give up, and I don't want to be in a relationship again. But a lot of my friends don't want me to get to that point because they feel I'm going to find somebody. But I keep feeling like I'm not going to find somebody. I keep feeling like I'm going to find nothing but constant uh, heartbreak and other things and I like I've gotten to a point where I felt like the next girl that I really connect to and I feel like feel something because this last girl I started to feel something for her. I started to feel like something was there and I felt like you know I need to get her to stop doing drugs because it's bad and other things I mean she was like Close to 18. I just started getting into my 20s. I didn't really want to do anything with her until she, you know, became 18, you know, sexual-wise. And because, you know, even with that, I wanted to feel like, you know, we're in a state where we're like, we really, really liked each other, and we started to fall in love before we did something like that. You know, so most guys are gonna say, "Oh, that guy, he's a freaking wuss. He should be a guy. You know, go out and just look to getting away." You know. I thought about that as a possibility several times, but even if I did, that still would be respecting the girl I was with at the time. But I still can't bring myself to be that kind of guy. 
because it's out of character for me. The thing is, you uh, even when you are you're falling in love in relationships, I'm gonna get to that soon to another video. You're gonna get to a point where you're gonna do a bunch of things that's out of your character for that said person. Something that like you don't wanna do for that said person, but you do it anyway because you really, really like this person a lot and you care for them and you're trying to show them that you're a trustworthy person, you're, you're worthy of them. And the problem is, it's not so much that you're not worthy of the person that uh, treats you the way they do, it's so much they're not worthy of you. They're not worthy of your time, they act like you're not worth their time, but you, technically, technically what it is is you're, you are worthy of anyone's time when you can make the time but the problem is most of these most people treat you so badly that it makes you think you know you're not worthy of anyone's time period but really you are you're worthy of so many people's times jack o okay I thought that was just pumpkin they got pumpkins over in here yeah there we go you need to make some pumpkin seeds. I gotta find some melon seeds. Sorry for bumping the camera there a couple of times. I'm gonna put this in there. Okay. But yeah, you're gonna eventually you will find said person that it will want to do the same things you're willing to do. I guess that said person is going to care about you. So, I need some stick here. Yeah, that said person is going to care about you a lot. Eventually, you'll find. Me? I don't know if I ever will. I start to get that feeling back that I will eventually find it. Find who I'm looking for in my life. But. Other than that, the whole point is just not to give up on what you're looking for. Let's put this gravel up in here. The thing is I gotta dye this wool to certain colors. Take the food out. Oh no, eleven minutes. Probably gonna do another video right after this so that I have a couple of these pre-made for you guys. After this, I gotta get started on tons of homework, take a shower, get started on tons of homework, eat. Try to watch some of my shows if I can. And then continue on homework because I have a lot of things with homework I gotta do coming up. This pig, the cat. You will eventually find that said person, but it's going to take a lot of time. Like I said, it's it's all it, all of what it is. It, it it has become nowadays. It's become trial and error. As we come into the newer years that define what we do, the newer decades and all that, that define people, define certain people. Like, I, I guess it's kind of bad that it's gotten that bad, but it happens, you know? Get the sheep out of here. I'm oh, sorry, Mr. Sheep. I, yeah, I guess it is. It's pretty bad that it's gotten that way. That's gotten to the point where... It's just become science, it's become trial and error, but well, 
it's kind of always been a little bit of science, but or it's become just a trial and error sort of like thing. I shouldn't even set that science. Yeah, it, it does suck a lot that people will treat sad other people that way. When we're just trying to show how much we care about them. But yet they don't care about the whole... I'm not going to look at you because I don't want to mess with you right now. About your well-being as a person. Like, oh, feelings is funny, it's stupid. Uh. Yeah, you, you people feel feelings all the goddamn time. You get angry when people mess with your things. Take from you. Oh, crap. I didn't want to mess with you. Freaking Enderman. I really didn't want to mess with the Enderman. Yeah, he turned around and looked at me and wanted to mess with me. Uh, sometimes I swear to God. But... Just like the last girl, she thought it was just dumb that he's just like, so I'm acting like such a drama queen all the freaking time. It's funny, but like, it's not funny, alright? I told you to knock it off like several times and yet you keep doing it. Like it is funny because it really isn't funny to do some of the things, some of the things they do like punching you for no reason. Like in the arms, like, oh, we're just having a little play. I, I hate that because, I mean, when you're a bunch of guys and you're doing that, and it's like, uh, oh, look, we're going to play around, or you're a girl oh, with a girl, and you're just like poking each other and stuff like that, and just like throwing like little paper balls at each other and stuff like that, and, uh, and you're know, just friends. I mean, that, that seems like more of a friendly setting, but like, it's just you and. You know, your girlfriend or boyfriend, you don't really want them to do that to you so much. I mean, and her uh, her mom would be like, you know, her mom and other people be, in her family and other people she knew would be like, don't do that to him. And he's like, what? He likes it. I'm like, no, actually, I don't. I told you that like five times. All right. So you said he does like that. That one damn day, I didn't really care because I was so tired. Was, there does get to a point where like you're. You're gonna meet up with them, you're gonna be tired one day, and then they're gonna like, do something like that, and you're gonna be all, oh, I don't care, because you're so tired. But, other than that, just doing things like that, doing those small little things like that, that do set you off, they. I mean, if you, they sweat the small stuff, you should sweat the small stuff too, all right? And to tell you the truth, something like that, it's not really all that small. It's a little bit bigger than some of the normal small stuff, like, uh, you know, oh, I forgot to do this. I'm sorry, you know, uh, or I'll remember next time or something like that. Because there's been some times where it's like, oh, I forgot about this. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to forget. I'll, I'll do it again. I'll... I'll do it, I'll make sure I don't forget next time, or whatever, and then she just, well, this girl, the last girl, so, so goddamn mad, like, it's like I forgot her birthday, and I didn't forget her birthday, you know, I knew what day her birthday was, I don't know anymore, because I'm not with the girl, I know it's in September, that's about it, but I knew what day it was, and when, you know, what was going on, and all that, but... A girl, like, got mad because, I can't remember what it was, but it was something really not all that important, but she got mad because I forgot about it. Oh, I know what it was. It was, uh, my DS, I forgot to bring her over for her to play a little bit. And I played a game on her a little bit that she was playing. And, uh... She uh, got mad because I forgot to bring it. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, you know, I'll bring it next time. And she was going to make me go back to the house. I was like, I don't, it's like, we're already here at your house. It's late night. I don't want to go back down to my house, grab it, bring it up to you, and then go back home. 
So, and at that point, I just did not want to bring to a period because I felt like, you know, it was going to get damaged around her family. Like her brother was going to do something like that to it. Just because he doesn't like me, period. And like, and she also got mad about that, the whole like, she, he should like you or whatever. And it's like, well, if he doesn't like me, he doesn't like me, alright? I can do a tons of things that can try to change his mind, but this isn't like a TV movie or a, uh, you know, like a movie in theaters or something like that. I'm not gonna, or some show, I'm not gonna change his mind, like, by taking him out and being buddy buddy with him and shit like that. No. Alright. I can ask him all he wants to do this or whatever. He'll he just flat out tell me no and tell me why. And I'm like, all right, well, I made an effort for her, so. Because uh. I've been to that point where it's like, well, I made an effort for uh, your uh, sister there, so, you know. There. <laughs> I, did, I tried. Cause the thing is, I will make an effort. For a family member of a girl that's not like me, I will make an effort to try to make them like me, and if they don't. They won't ever like me, and I'll tell them, well, babe, uh, honey, you know, I, I made an effort, they just don't, they really just do not like me. I don't think I, uh, should be dating you, so, uh, I tell you truth, a lot of girls will tell me, well, if my dad likes you, you know, I'm not gonna date you. You know, yeah, I have dated a lot of girls where the dad has liked me a lot. Well, they've been a little bit cautious about me, but they still date, uh, liked me a lot, and the girls still like me no matter what it was their dad said. I don't know, something, sometimes I give off a vibe to dads that I'm like, just a little bit of a trustworthy guy. And, uh... I am a guy, I do have those kind of thoughts, you know, thoughts that guys usually always have on their damn minds, but... Oh, thanks for going your wool back. But, um... You grew some different wool. I'm not gonna be, you know, thinking of the thoughts all the time, and I'm not gonna, like, be trying to work work an angle with her daughter to try to get what I want, what I think I want, what wolf's guys try to get from a girl out of... out of them, because, you know, it's it's not right, you know, it's not right to just, you know, be prowling for booty, you know, like that. On my book it is, most guys feel like, it's just, I don't see women as, you know, the next piece of ass that I'm looking for, I don't see them like that. But most women, they see me as the next, you know, excuse my language, you know, dick to ride. And yet they've never gotten to rid of it, and they don't care. It's like, it's, you won't ever have sex with you. Ever. Well, you know, there's a reason why I didn't want to, because I felt like you didn't... Well, some of the girls, I took a look at it, and I felt like they don't make their guys use a condom, so they probably have some diseases in them, and... They're probably spreading them to other guys, and um, even though most guys don't like to wear condoms, um, I don't care. I would wear one during sex, so um, this isn't just a cautionary thing for me, it's a cautionary thing for her, too. So, you know, we're almost out of time here. You know, I'm sorry for the whole Ryan Edward thing, but I felt that, like it'd be okay for when I'm just by myself like this, and I'm all with friends. If I ever get some uh, friends to play this with, that aren't family members. I don't even really talk to so much anymore. And it's because I've been in school, and uh, some of them I don't really want to talk to anymore because I took for one and. I don't get to talk to the other ones because I'm not in that damn room. Or there, he's in that room with them. So, uh. Yeah. Anywho. I hope you guys all had fun. I had fun too in this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Everything's down in the description. And I will see you all in the next one. But until then, ho ho!